attention as of about last week one of my subscribers notified me that uh, there's a new initiative that's trying to get on the ballot for November of 2020 that will repeal and get rid of all of the laws that went into effect for initiative 1639 and this initiative is 1094 and so it's in the signature gathering, gathering stage right now and we need just a little bit under 300,000 signatures by January 3rd to pass this initiative and get it to go on to the voting ballot for November 2020. So it's our right and our duty as responsible gun owners in Washington State to get out there and sign this petition to get this initiative on the voting ballot and we can repeal and get rid of all the damage done by Initiative 1639 and protect our Constitution and keep our rights from being infringed by the government. In my opinion, a law like that, funded by the 1% that affects 99% of all of us here in Washington State is just not fair. And if I hadn't been emailed by one of my subscribers, I honestly don't know when I would have heard about this. So obviously the media is trying to keep this a secret from the public. They don't want us to know about it because they don't want 1639 to get repealed and it's still funny to me how a gun like this this little 22 or this AR-15 right here that accounts for only 4% of the US homicides is trying so hard to get banned and limited access when a gun like this a handgun accounts for 64% of homicide deaths in the US yet this is the problem I guess if that makes sense to some people then that's what they gotta do but yeah as far as I know you can find this uh, signature sheet at any local gun store I'll provide a link in the description that shows you where you can find this to sign it to get it into effect and like I said we have till January 3rd of 2020 to get just under 300,000 signatures to get this on the ballot for November 2020. So I actually went and signed it on Monday when I went to buy some ammo at my local pawn shop in Everett, Washington, Pawn Fathers. They had uh, a few sheets there and they said they've already filled out quite a few of them so it sounds like people are going out there and signing it because they do not want 1639 around anymore. I mean it's ridiculous you can't even get a handgun without going through a waiting period with a concealed weapons permit that just doesn't really make sense to me but it's whatever so like I said go out there get this signed and let's get 1639 taken off the law books and repealed but I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention because I didn't know about it until one of my subscribers uh, shout out to Sanity's Void sent me an email last week telling me about it. So let's all get out there and get rid of this law. Well, thanks for watching my video. Go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel and have a good night. Thank you.